it appears to me, I don't know this, but it appears to me that Baseball America values the bigger picture more than does Keith Law, and, and frankly, more than I do. I look at this as kind of a, a snapshot of a club's farm system. And, and, and like at some point, when you start the assessment period, everything is frozen. Um, like last year or next year, doesn't they don't matter. And, and I think it, it seems to me that it's at least possible that Baseball America considers the trends, considers... Uh, considers things that they use with individual players and their projections with the farm system as a whole. And I do not do that. And I don't believe Keith law does it either, or, or at least he doesn't put a lot of stock in that, not in the system rankings. Anyway, uh, those kinds of things that the, the trends, the, the, the clubs penchant for uh, development, the, those matter, but you have to, I believe you have to, to kind of, Take that freeze frame of the farm system. How good is this player? How good could this player be? And, and, and I think you have to pull out all the things down underneath. All the re, all the mud. You have to pull it out. Here, here's what I think he is. Here's where I think he's going. Here's what I think the most likely uh, result is. And how does that play at the big league level? And I think when you do that, I think two is high. <laughs> to be honest with you, I, I do. I think two is two is high. Now, because you need 26 players on a major league baseball team, people think, well, that kind of sort of means you need to go like 26 deep in a farm system. Like in a perfect farm system, you'd be t- – no, that, that's not how it works at all because there's so many ways to acquire players. So many of the young players that, that you try and develop, um, that you put your efforts into, are not going to turn out what you hoped they would or not at all. So you're going to go out and you're going to make trades, you're going to make free agent signings and things of that nature. You're going to claim players off waivers left and right. But it is like that top 10 or 12 is more important than like, let's say you went, I I went 40 deep in my rankings this year for the public. Anyway, if you're a, an all-star subscriber or higher, you have all the way down to into the one hundreds. You have access to all of that on the spreadsheet on the live worksheet. But I went, I went to 40. I could have gone to 60. But it, let's say I went to 60. The top 12 or so, I wouldn't trade even the top six for the bottom 54. So that your depth, it doesn't matter as much as maybe some of these outlets, maybe they put, maybe some of these, I'm not saying Baseball America definitely does this, I'm saying maybe they do. Uh, I don't believe Keith Law does. I certainly wouldn't. I don't think Eric Longenhagen does. I don't know about Major League Baseball, but I think they also do it. Where they look at, hey, and then they have this guy at 22 that has, you know, has some upside. He's also super high risk, and there's a reason he ranks number 22. The reason that he ranks number 22 and a different player ranks number four are bing, bang, boom. So if you have a really strong top seven or top 12 that that's a lot more important than having depth at 27. And I think that might partially explain kind of that big picture uh, POV that might explain the difference between one outlet and another. Um, but I also think, you know, relatively speaking, there's not a huge, what do you say? Keith Law was 13 and baseball America had him number two. There's not an enormous difference between 13 and 2. A, a difference? Sure. A big one? No, not really. And I think it's small enough to where one or two players can make up the difference. Like, if all else stays as expected, but Seattle added another top 10 talent, they could leap multiple teams in front of them. And and if that player they pick up is like a top 3 or 4 talent, maybe they jump 8 or 10 spots and they are 2 or 3. Um, it's kind of a fine line, I think, is what I'm what I'm saying without actually saying it. So I'll say it. I think it's pretty much a fine line. And beauty's in the eye of the beholder to a very large extent.